Some have, but some can't seem to kick the habit just yet. There's a sense of liberation, with masks no longer compulsory in most areas of France. Last week, the country enacted phase three of its unlocking plan, with bars, restaurants and cafes reopening indoor dining and the curfew moving back to 11 p.m. The fourth phase regarding masks and removing the curfew altogether was due to start at the end of the month. But with infection rates as low as they've been since last August, the French government has taken a pragmatic view. I invite all our citizens to continue getting vaccinated, which is the only long-lasting way to fight this epidemic. We will then continue to progress step by step. As the weather's warmed up, there's been growing opposition to the mandatory mask rule and the curfew, which began in October and was set as early as 6 p.m. at one stage. Masks are still required on public transport as well as in stadiums and other crowded public places. In fact, nobody wears the mask anymore. And from what I understand, it doesn't have much purpose outside. It will be great, because we will no longer have to look at for the mask in the corner of our pockets in the car. It's a really good thing. The lifting of restrictions has coincided with some other good news for locals and those tourists allowed into France. After seven and a half months, Disneyland Paris has opened its doors. But one of the leading tourist destinations in Europe will only welcome a limited number of visitors for now. And close interactions between the Disney characters and the public will be restricted. Perhaps for Mickey Mouse and his assorted friends who normally spend all day long hugging strangers, the fact that there's still going to be social distancing at Disney World is not a bad thing. Francis Collings, TRT World in Paris.